How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is just going to be a quick video for Canonize. Um, Canonize asks how do I show a picture uh, and then have it be erased by um, a mouse click. And I've sort of responded with a couple of ways to do it and the person uh, Canonize is having trouble figuring it out and I'm uh, kind of tired of writing <laughs> and trying to type my point. I think it's going to be easier if I just do this quick video for you. So I think the problem you're having is you're trying to put it all in one event. So in order to have the picture, uh, in order for to have the game uh, detect when you're actually letting go of the mouse click, you have to put it in a different event. So let's create the event that's, uh, I'm sure you already have this event, but this is going to be the event that you're using that's showing the picture, all right? So whatever picture we have, let's use this one, it's just whatever number you're at, we'll say 20. So whenever you uh, interact with this, however you want to do it, um, I'll set this to action button. All it's going to do is show the picture. And that picture is going to show when uh, we press the action button. And there it is, right? But in order for that to, uh, in order to use the mouse, we have to create uh, a, a conditional statement and use a little script. They should have included this in the engine. I don't know why they did, but at least you can do this. So in the, the first comment, I said you would type if and then blah, 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 but you don't put the if inside the script because this conditional branch is actually the if statement itself. Um, so what we need to do is we need to see, uh, we need to check if touch input is set to true. Touch input dot is, we can use is triggered method or we can use is pressed or is released so you can do it either way you want so is triggered is pressed or is released we'll say release we'll do that one um, so that's all we have to do right but the problem is if we run this event it's going to show the picture and at the a, a frame after it shows the picture it's going to see if we're pressing the button and if we are pressing the button or if we've released the button, which is unlikely not going to happen. So it's going to show the picture and, and nothing's going to happen. And even if you release the mouse at this point, it's not going to matter because uh, it's not checking for it at the time. So what we need to do is we need to cut that. Let's create a new event. We're going to make it priority parallel process, which means it's going to happen in the background while other stuff is happening. Parallel process uh, events are super powerful, but they can slow the game down if you have too many going on at the same time. This event shouldn't slow you down at all, um, as far as I know. We want to set this to below characters, that way we don't create an invisible barrier. So that means you could literally put this anywhere on any map and it's not going to, the player's going to walk right over it and not even know it's there. So basically, I already made it. We're just going to paste that event in there. So if at any time, every frame, it's going to check, if at any time we've released that mouse button, it's going to do what we want it to do. And in this case, we want to have it erase the picture. Uh, I think I put it to 20. Um, we're going to have it erase picture 20. All right, so here's our event that's going to show that picture. So let's go ahead and jump in game and see if this works. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. All right, so we use our action button and we show uh, the picture. Now, I'm going to click and it doesn't do anything. Now, I'm going to let go of the mouse. Boom, there it goes. See? Click, let go. So just click and it's gone. So it's that simple. Can can I can I this? I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but it's just this quick little special request video. I didn't want to do anything crazy, but um, this video is for you. So thank you for your request. Hopefully. Uh, you can make sense of all that and if you can't let me know and I'll try to respond back but it's pretty simple right so one last time I'll show you the event you make a parallel process below character script you don't put the if inside there you just go touch input dot is oh, another thing it's cap sensitive it's very cap sensitive if you go like this it's not gonna work if you go like uh, is released like that it's not gonna work it's gonna say undefined if you forget to include the parentheses or you don't do them right it's not gonna work so do that uh, exactly as it is, verbatim, word for word, letter for letter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry if the titles, I'm going to just basically just make it very vague. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you want more special requests. Subscribe to the channel if you're into this sort of thing, you like uh, game development, RPG maker stuff. We'll see you guys in the next video.